Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro and Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create custom LUTs or color lookup tables for you to use in other programs like Premiere Pro to color grade video. So let's actually start this tutorial in Photoshop, and I have a still frame, or you could use any photo really, for us to begin building our color effect onto. Now, although the newer versions of Premiere Pro does have a pretty powerful Lumetri color and color effects section, there are some different combinations and workflows that might not be available that are in Photoshop. And most importantly, in Photoshop, you can export your color effects as .LUTs or .Cubes for you to use in other programs like Premiere. So let's start building a color effect on here. I'm going to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Curves. Now keep in mind, you can build pretty much any color effect you want. And I have dozens and dozens of different color effect tutorials for Photoshop on my channel. So just use the search feature if you want. So let's just build a simple color effect. I'll lift up the blacks in the curve channel to get a little bit more faded look. I'll create another anchor point and pull back the rest of the image back to where it was really to just keep the lightning on the shadows. And then I'll switch over to different color modes like red, green, and blue channels to influence those individually. So if I add some red in the highlights, it'll add a nice red bright tone. And I can pull some reds out of the shadows to create a blue shadow which pairs nicely. If you're totally confused on how the curves tool works, I do have a separate tutorial for that as well on my channel that you can find, but that's not really the point of this tutorial. The point is, once you've created whatever type of combination of different color effects and adjustment layers you want, what you would do is highlight all of those adjustment layers, put them in a group if you need to by clicking this group folder icon, and then with the group highlighted, go to File, export color lookup tables. This will allow you to export it in a format that's available to read in Photoshop, Lightroom, and many other programs actually. So the format that we're going to use is Cube for Premiere. However, you can export in multiple different formats if you need to do them all at once. But Cube is going to work well for Premiere. Now the grid point quality just kind of tells Photoshop how many grids do we want to visually separate out to kind of scan the image and tell what you're doing to the colors. So usually high will work well and won't be too long to save. Once you start getting to poor, then you only have eight grid points, which means that it's scanning very large sections and your color effect might not translate as well. So let's keep it at high. Once you press OK, you'll be able to give your LUT a name. So I'll call this one warm contrast and I'll just save it on my desktop. So once I press save, it'll take a second to scan the image. And once it's done, I should find a dot cube wherever you saved it. So here's mine that was on my desktop. Now I'm going to show you two ways that you can load and use these in Premiere. So now when I switch over to open up Premiere, you can see that I've got a video clip loaded and ready to use. Now I can highlight my clip, open up the Lumetri color section and open up the creative tab. And under the look, I can open it up and select custom. So when I do that, it's going to allow me to browse all the different documents that I have saved on my computer. So here it is on the desktop and I'll open it up and you should see it appear in the look menu for us to use. So there you can see we have the same exact color grading that we did on that photo across this entire video, which can be very useful to use as a preset. Also, since we have it in the creative tab, you can lower the intensity of it or increase the intensity of it, which also gives you a little bit more flexibility. However, if you don't want to keep loading them in all the time, which could take a long time, the way that you can permanently save them so that they appear in this list with all the other defaults is open up your Finder or wherever you have Premiere Pro saved on your computer. So in this case, I can right click it and go to Show in Finder and then right click on Adobe Premiere Pro, the actual application that should be in your Applications folder. Right click on it, Show Package Contents. And inside the package contents, you should find a folder called Lumetri. And inside that, you should find one called LUTs and then Creative. Here you see that list of all those presets. And what you can do is just drag the one that we just saved and exported from Photoshop into this Creative folder. And then next time you open up Premiere Pro, you'll see it appear in the list with all the other defaults. So let's restart Premiere. So we're back in the project. Let's go to the Creative tab and let's look through our lists here. And you should see at the very bottom, Warm Contrast, that custom one that we just saved and made. So now we can use it. It's always going to be in there every time we open up Premiere. 
and you can continue using it on your projects and you can continue making and using custom presets. So that's how you export a custom color LUT from Photoshop to use in Premiere Pro. If you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely leave a like on it. Let me know what you thought in the comments and make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of my new future videos. Also, for any of you guys out there that are curious or might want a pack of these, I do plan on opening up a creator store section on my website with a ton of color effects, resources, and presets and things like that that I'm working on. So follow me on social media at Justin Odisho on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If you want to stay up to date and notified with when that type of stuff is coming, I'll also probably announce it here on the channel. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.